Season 5 of Rick and Morty has just finished, and with it, we finally know for sure what Rick's true origin is. Now, we had previously seen Rick's origin in the first episode of Season 3, in which his wife and child are killed by a Rick from another dimension, and this is what turned him into the angry, bitter man that he is. But he also says that this origin was fake, and that he just made it all up in order to manipulate a prison bug so that he could escape from prison and take down the alien bug government. Which sounds pretty insane when I say it, but hey, this is Rick and Morty. But now, we actually know what his true origin is. Rick was a scientist on the verge of figuring out how to travel through portals to anywhere in the universe instantly. But when an alternate Rick from another dimension gave him the choice to join all the other Ricks in the multiverse, he said no. And then, as I said, the other Rick kills his family. Now, this sent our Rick into a downward spiral of booze, drugs, and depression, until eventually he emerges with a strong desire for revenge, and he dedicates the next few years of his life to hunting down the Rick who killed his family, and ends up killing hundreds, thousands, or maybe even millions of other Ricks. He kills a lot of them anyway. So many that the other Ricks of the multiverse eventually call him in for a truce, They've decided to safeguard all the Ricks of the multiverse by creating the Citadel of Ricks, a safe haven for Ricks to live in. But the main Rick wants nothing to do with this, and he's just kind of fed up with the whole thing, to be honest. So he goes his own way, but seemingly still sticks to the truce, and is still unable to find the Rick who killed his family. Although I imagine that will come up in future seasons of the show. And so, our Rick goes on a bender until he crashes into the garage of Beth, his daughter from another dimension, and he decides to live with her. Rick's basically pretending that his own daughter didn't die, and living a little fantasy where she's still alive and he's still in her life. Which does actually explain Rick's depression and his alcoholism. He never got over the death of his wife and daughter, and is just living in a fantasy that she is still alive, which is incredibly unhealthy. But hey, no one ever said Rick had a healthy mental state after all. Although it does have to be said that the main flaw with this story is that when we first saw Rick's origin in Season 3, they said that it was a memory and that you can't change details in a memory. And then Rick says he can because none of it was true. It wasn't a memory, it was just something he made up. So either Rick is able to change his memories somehow, or the writers are just ignoring that problem and is a bit of a plot hole. I suppose you could say that the family dying part was real, that was actually a memory, and then the second part, where Rick writes down the code for his portal gun, was fake. So it's a real memory, followed by a fake one. And this does actually kind of make sense, as the formula on the floor was what Rick needed to take over the VR simulation he was in. Once it was scanned by the alien bug, he took it over and he was in control of the simulation. So it obviously wasn't real. So if you look at it like that, it does kind of make sense. But in any case, this is now Rick's official origin. And it does explain why Rick sees the world the way he does, and how he's able to so easily shrug off the things that he does to his family, and how he was actually able to abandon his daughter to a world of monsters that he had created. Because in Rick's mind, none of them are his real daughter, so they don't really matter. He doesn't actually have a daughter, he has no one, and he's just basically living in this weird fantasy where she's still alive. Kind of like living in a VR world that's fake rather than living in a real one. I mean, when you play VR, do you care about any of the characters you kill? No. It's the same for Rick. He's essentially just playing a video game in an alternate universe, and the entire universe is his video game. With that being said, he is still kind of attached to them, of course, because he does live with them in the day-to-day. -day. But also kind of not. It's a complicated system. Again, it's like, if you're playing a video game, you do try to save people in the missions, and you don't try to hurt people unnecessarily, even though you all know none of it's real and it's just a bunch of lights. So Rick kind of views it like that. He's attached in the moment, but not really attached on the whole. But the question is, what do you think of this origin? Do you think it explains Rick's mental state? And what do you think of this origin being the same as the one he claimed was fake? Does that make sense to you? Be sure to let us know in the comments. And I'd just like to quickly remind everyone that we have merchandise available on our store. And to say thanks to all of you who have donated to the Needle Mouse Productions page on Patreon. And as always, thanks for watching, and feel free to subscribe, share, like, and comment.